Hey everybody, Plushy here. I apologize for the delay. Uh, I have been quite busy trying to move into my new apartment. But finally, with most of my stuff out of the way, I think we can continue on with this uh, hot take series. Today's subject matter would be Summer Ibuki. I know she is a highly controversial character. There has been a lot of talk about her and her comparisons with other AoE arch loopers. I personally really like her design. And I did try to pull for multiple copies of her as well. Um, some went better than others, but uh, I did take her out for a lot of um, test drives. And after a week, I think uh, I have kind of a grasp on how she feels. So I hope you guys enjoy my take on Summer Ibuki. Her first skill is an AoE 20% attack up and an AoE 30% crit up as well as an AoE 30% MP gain up for all Summer Servants. Now this is already a really decent skill. Even if it only applies to herself, it has all the effects that you want on a Servant. It has a small crit buff, a pretty good MP gain buff, and an attack up. Um, this skill helps her loop quite a bit, um, and it can also help her allies loop if you put her in a double or even triple um, DPS comp. So yeah, uh, I, I like this skill a lot. It's really flexible, it boosts her teammates as well as herself, and it helps looping. Her second skill is a targetable Buster Arts duo buff, both by 30%, as well as reducing the skill cooldowns of the target by 1. Now this is also a very interesting skill. Uh, most of the time you're going to use it on herself, and it is a decent buff for her. She has an Arts MP with two Arts cards and two Buster cards, so the card types definitely match up here. Um, she also has a cooldown effect, which uh, pairs pretty well with her, uh, with her other skills, because her other skills also have relatively short uh, cooldowns. And um, having two of these servants in the team also have, has an interesting effect of spawning some really wacky farm teams that we'll talk about later. So overall, really good skill. Uh, once again, a uh, supportive skill that is decent, but also just really good putting on herself. And finally, her third skill is the good old 50 MP battery. This is a big reason of why she's being compared to the other AoE arts right now. Um, and on top of the battery, she also has a 10 star per turn for 3 turns effect, as well as a star absorb up by a whopping 5000% for 3 turns. And the skill is only uh, 6 cooldown. Uh, it's a really good skill. Obviously the 50 MP battery helps her loop, helps her fire off her MP uh, on the get go. It's just really good. 50 MP batteries are never bad. But uh, on top of that, her other two effects are also really strong. Uh, 10 stars per turn is the 2030 effect. It's, it's really good for a skill. Um, and you know, this is on top of 50 MP battery. It supplies her with a plethora of stars which is kind of rare for art servants because they really can't make stars with their MP. Um, same goes with the arts, uh, same goes with the card uh, star absorb up by 5,000%, which is really high, but is exactly what she needs as a berserker for, for her to guarantee a crit. Um, the skill feels a lot like uh, Lancelot, who has um, all the stuff in one. You have the stars per turn, you have the, uh, the star absorb up. She doesn't have star bomb, but you know, this is already really good. So yeah, I like this skill a lot. Good for farming, enables her to crit, which is rare in Art Servants. And take a look at her passives. Uh, her passives are nothing special, it's just a uh, carbon copy of Saber uh, Ibuki, basically. Um, I have sung high praise for the Dragon Kind EX uh, passive before. It is a really good damage cut uh, passive from everything, and it is also a buster buff. Now obviously it's not as good on her as Saber Ibuki because her MP is not Buster, but she still has two Buster cards and the damage cut never hurt, especially on a uh, Berserker Servant who really needs survivability. And the uh, the Snake God's Essence is also a really good skill. It's really niche, but uh, it's amazing when it hits. It's a 20% buff removal resist. And there are uh, levels where you want to TA, but you really don't want to fit in uh, Santa Nightingale. Instead, you want to fit in other servants um, that can boost the DPS's attack further. And you can take the chance with this 20% instead. And uh, yeah, it, it pushes her ceiling, I suppose, 
for CQ minterns and TAs because you can cut one quote unquote suboptimal support for a even stronger uh, buffer. And then finally, uh, her MP is a five hit AOE arts. It removes all enemies defensive buffs before damage, which is really good. Bypasses uh, most gimmicks that aren't like, you know, most skill icons that aren't in a box that are unremovable. Uh, it also reduces the enemy's crit chance by 20% for 3 turns, that rarely comes into play. But uh, I guess with a servant as squishy as she is, uh, she can get all the help she needs. Um, and then her overcharge is a anti-earth uh, special mod, which is really good. Uh, earth is really wide, it's a really wide uh, attribute. Um, and her numbers are the standard 150% uh, on OC1, all the way to 200% on OC5. Now the biggest question I feel like has been uh, tossed around these couple of days is basically like Oh is Space Discharge dead? Or is Summer Kama irrelevant? Uh, because now Ibuki is out. Uh, well the short answer is no, uh, and let's get into why. So for most people when they talk about farming, they're basically talking about 333 farming. They all function the same. Some function slightly better than others, but most of the time they're gonna, they're gonna function the exact same. Um, some pros and cons with Ibuki. Uh, so in my opinion, Ibuki is better for lower MP levels, simply because she has the Berserker class. She's gonna be hitting those uh, overkill thresholds way easier at lower MP levels compared to the other servants that hit neutral, such as you know the two Avengers. Um, and then there are also the the, the thing with uh, you know having non three 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 nodes. You know sometimes the nodes are like three two three two three two. Uh, stuff like that you might be lacking a little bit of refund and then now you really want that 50 battery instead of just really good MP refund like Summer Musashi so yeah um, Summer Ibuki sort of have this uh, best of both worlds thing going on with her um, she at the same time has the benefit of having the Berserker class advantage which uh, helps her general damage as well as um, having the battery so she can sort of have some flexibility in terms of farming nodes. But once again, 90% um, of the time, they're gonna function very similarly, in my opinion. Um, I made a small comparison list here in terms of their damage across the three waves. I didn't do Summer Kiara because there are some differences you can do with Summer Kiara, whether you want to boost the battery, whether you want to boost the skill 3. Um, just know that when Summer Kiara fully boosts her skill 3, she has the highest damage out of all of them, minus Ibuki's last wave damage when she hits Earth. Um, but yeah, as you can see here, Ibuki isn't even the highest in terms of last wave damage if it's not against Earth. Once again, you know, really not worth going for if you already have another AoE Arts that you're comfortable with. Um, you can simply, you know, rolling for a copy of Ibuki is already not easy. You know how shit this game's rate is. And, like, rolling for just one copy is also not going to beat your Arts AoE servant that you already invested a lot of into. So, like, honestly, a little bit overrated in my opinion. Not a Spishtar killer. Not a Summer Kama killer either. Don't worry about that. Other than the, uh, hitting overkill threshold easier thing with summer ibuki there are also stuff that i like uh, like about ibuki that uh, over the other uh, art slooping staples i suppose um one of them is ironically not about farming uh i really like ibuki's performance in tas or you know cq speed runs because she can crit you know a lot of arts aoe servants they struggle to crit even people like muramasa they only have a one turn crit is very strong but the star absorb and all that only lasts one turn is kind of annoying. Summary Buki, in my opinion, has the most good overall crit sustainable skill set, with her skill 3 being able to provide her with a continuous stream of stars, as well as making her cards have really high star absorb, as well as having a long, you know, long lasting crit up, even though it's only 30%. I think overall, and paired up with her Berserker class, I suppose, uh, overall she probably does the most face card damage. And uh, it's important because, you know, sometimes in CQs you simply cannot one-shot the boss with the MP alone, even if you use Oberon, even if you use whatever steroids, because their HP is just too high or their resistance is too high. They usually artificially boost the uh, CQ's HP like that. So Ibuki being able to crit, especially, you know, sometimes you can, if it's only one turn, you can pair up with uh, Proto Merlin, and then you can have this really big crit turn to secure the win. 
um, that that I really like about her uh, over some of the other loopers that I mentioned before. And then one more sort of, uh, I guess, a small advantage for Summer Ibuki is her flexibility in teams. Um, I usually don't like to talk about multi-core farming, but it seems like it is the, the future, uh, judging from all the 90 plus nodes that's been popping up. Uh, so Ibuki having a supportive skill set instead of just a very selfish one is quite good. Um, her first skill boosts the loopability of her other allies and not just herself. And her second skill can be can buff another another Ibuki even if you do like double summer Ibuki. Um, double summer Ibuki is a pretty funny team where you use the two cooldown reductions on one single Ibuki and then you use Atlas to further reduce his cooldown so she can use the battery twice. It, it's, it's kind of fun. It's not that practical most of the time, but uh, it does help you loop some of the more non-standard enemy count nodes. So yeah, and there's a lot more stuff that Ibuki can do with her skill set, uh, having some supportability to it. I made a video compiling them. Obviously, some of them are more practical than others, but uh, I hope the message I, I'm trying to get through gets through, which is that, you know, she's more flexible. But after talking about the pros of Ibuki, obviously, here comes the cons. And one of the biggest glaring weaknesses of Summer Ibuki is her lack of, you know, survival skills. She has zero survivability. I tried to solo prison tower with her, expecting it to be as easy as, you know, using Morgan. It was really easy using Morgan, by the way. Uh, I think she did it first try. But, uh, you know, Ibuki sort of gave me the illusion that she was gonna pass it without, no, uh, without any problems. But then she got stuck in one of the stages because she couldn't do all her MP anymore. And then she, her damage fell off. And then she died in a single turn without the enemy even critting. Uh, she's like a balloon. If you pop it, she just explodes. She has nothing. She has some of the lowest HP stat in the game because on the flip side, she has really high attack stat. You know, even higher than Space Ishtar, so it's pretty impressive. But uh, yeah, on the other hand, she just dies. She is, it's so easy for her to just accidentally die to a single crit. Not just because she's a Berserker, but also she has absolutely nothing compared to the other uh, common arts loopers I've mentioned before. Uh, you know, even Summer Musashi, I know people like to make fun of her guts, you know, reducing a huge amount of her HP just to have that guts. Um, but at least it's a guts. And then she also has an evade. So she's not that easily taken out compared to uh, Ibuki. This also, you know, extends into her next problem, which is her face cards being absolutely horrible. Um, I, I don't think a lot of these servants have good face cards, but uh, Ibuki has especially horrible face cards. Um, her arts cards barely refund anything. So if you're trying to solo and then she's on her own, she's out of her skills, she's going to like be just absolutely crap. Um, she's gonna not be able to perform and she's gonna die in a single turn. Compared to characters like Musashi, who even has a skill dedicated to her face cards, her weakness really shows. Uh, when she's, you know, stranded without help. She's a servant that you kind of have to babysit 24-7 just for her to not die. But, uh, you know, when she isn't dead and she has her support, she probably outperforms most of the other arts AoEs. So, give or take. I guess that's more of a character design rather than just a straight-up flaw. So overall, I know I said a lot of bad things about her and, uh, you know, near the end, but uh, Ibuki is still a really good servant. Uh, she's really impressive. She's just an extreme glass cannon. Um, she is really fragile, but at the same time, she dishes out insane damage, especially when she's against uh, Earth enemies. She also has defensive buff removal before MP damage, which uh, guarantees her damage landing even more. Um, Overall, she's just really good. You just have to build a team around her and then she's gonna perform. You're not gonna be disappointed. For newer players who doesn't have a good AoE Arts Looper, I would say pick her up. Uh, she's pretty good, especially if you like the Servant. She doesn't really even need to function with Double Castoria. Obviously, it's gonna be a little scuffed, but uh, with the introduction of Shufu, I believe with uh, Shufu and Castoria, she can still loop a lot of nose, no problem. But uh, if, if the case is that you already have an AoE art servant that you have put a lot of, you know, MP levels and grails into, then it's really not necessary rolling for, like, a slight upgrade because you would have to invest the same amount into Ibuki to see her outperform your original looper. Anyways, uh, 
once again, I apologize for the delay, but I hope you guys enjoyed this really rambly review on a really adorable and pretty summer servant that I really love. Um, so, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. See you guys in the next one.